Good night, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today is November 5th, and on this post, we're going to be talking about the overall crypto markets, the total altcoin market cap, Bitcoin, and as well as how they affect Algorand, Algo USD. I'm going to be sharing my bullish and bearish case scenarios, as well as short term price targets, according to what I'm seeing in the charts. Before we begin today, if you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, do subscribe as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. Please do also read my disclaimer below as I'm not a financial advisor and it's not financial advice. I cannot tell the future. If you're simply looking for someone to tell you the future, I am not your guy and you should probably skip this video. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions, so you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing. Now, if you guys don't already have a Webull brokerage account and want to support me, I do have a referral link down in the video description section below. They're still giving away three free stocks upon a successful signup and a qualifying deposit of 100 US dollars. And I will also receive bonus stocks upon your successful signup. So I truly appreciate that. Now, if you guys do have any questions or comments, please only leave them in the comment section below. I will not get to all the messages in my inbox. Let me know what you guys are trading, what symbols you guys are following. I can see if I can share my opinions and analysis on those symbols. Now let's begin and take a look at what exactly the overall markets are doing. So the first thing I like to look at would be Bitcoin dominance, which is still trending up in my opinion on a macro level. I think it went up to as high as about 66%. Now it's pulling back quite a little bit at about 65.6%. Okay, but I think on the macro level, we are still going to trend it up for Bitcoin dominance. So what that means is I think Bitcoin is actually going to be making most of the moves here, while in the best case scenario, that all coins are going to be trailing that move uh, in aggregate, okay, as a total altcoin market cap. So Bitcoin right now is about 15K. I have been predicting this, that we are going to run above 14K and stay there. I think the next level of major resistance is about 16k before uh, we actually see a real pullback so i'll be looking out for that um and we're going to take a look at a total altcoin market cap which is total two total two right now is about 146 billion right now we are still currently uh we have made gains uh today and we're up about 2.2 percent and we are still above that magical level i'm talking about which is the weekly 21 simple moving average which is how i measure if we are still on a uptrend or not you guys let me know what you think but as long as i uh, we are still on top of that weekly 21 simple moving average um and do not close below it i am still uh um optimistic about that market cautiously of course so now let's take a look at algorand itself on algorand what is happening uh since the last time we have talked about this uh on my last post we are currently about a uh, 0.245 uh as price and we have gone as low as about 0.2215 as seen on this chart right here on this last red candle and have been supported um by um just the support levels down there as i have talked about because um from the past trading history as uh in this area right here on the three day charts Okay, we have seen quite a bit of price action that had been going on around there uh, just earlier this year. So previous resistance now is support. So um, this was not unexpected at all. So if so, currently my bullish case scenario for Algorand is that we do actually have to come up and get a triple top right here. That would be very good confirmation for me uh, in terms of probability that we are going to actually reverse this trend. Um, starting from there but uh we have if we actually take a look at some of the lower time frames such as the four hour we can see that we have actually gone back on top of some of these uh well one of these moving averages again which is good because now that we have actually gone on top of these moving averages uh now that could actually be seen as supports okay so we have gone on top of the 21 simple moving average on the uh, four hour charts on the six hour chart as well. So after we have gone on top of these moving averages, 
they could be seen as support. So if price action was to continue downwards, we do have to breach and break down these moving averages again. So that's how I see it. And then uh, the 12 hour 21 simple moving average, which is also the blue line right here on the 12 hour time frame, is immediately above us at about 0.257. The real moving average I've been talking about and uh, looking to get um, on top of to actually see as a first step towards the right direction would be the daily 21 simple moving average, which we had um, not been able to stay above of it uh, for long since we have actually had this downtrend since about um, late August. As you guys can see, the blue line right here, since we have broken down, we have uh, tried to get above it, got immediately rejected, tried to get above it again. We did a better job the second time, but still immediately got rejected right here. So staying above this blue line right here will be the first step to actually, uh, for me to actually perceive that this trend may be reversing. But if if we want to take it a step further, uh, we have not gone on top of the 50 simple moving average on the daily, which is the white line right here. So getting back on top of that will be further confirmation and will give me a higher confidence that this trend is reversing. But until then, uh, my opinion has not exactly changed. I know that we have seen a smaller move out of Algorand today. I think that's a good step towards the right direction. But until we hit, uh, until we actually get on top of some of these moving averages, um, then I, I cannot switch my opinion on uh, when exactly we are actually reversing this trend. Okay, so the, uh, the like I said, the we, uh, the daily twenty one simple moving average is the first step that I'm looking for in the right direction. But further confirmation that will give me higher confidence would be the 50 uh, daily simple moving average, which is the white line right here. They're all about at the 0.31 level, about in that range. Okay, so definitely going to be looking out for that. I'm going to be keeping an eye out on Bitcoin dominance because that will affect how money is trending into the altcoins. Now, the bearish case scenario, we cannot skip the bearish case scenario because I like to acknowledge both the bullish and bearish case scenarios in case things just change on a dime and I will not act emotionally. I do have to acknowledge that, you know, both of these scenarios have their probabilities of occurring. So nothing is absolute in this market. I have to acknowledge that. Uh, that is my opinion. So uh, we are currently getting supported um, after this red candle, like I have mentioned. So about 0.225, that's uh, where the support was. Now, the measured target from that double top uh, breakdown, uh, which is pretty much the measured target at about 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.19, uh, 0 0.197, 0 0.195 range. Okay, so if the support does not hold, then unfortunately, I think the price action is going to continue down towards that measured target. But like I said, there's quite a bit of support right here from the past um from the earlier this year so if 0.22 which was the last support that uh we got a bounce from uh if that does not hold so if that does not hold we are gonna the next level of support i'm gonna be looking for would be about point about right about where this wick was and a lot of uh wicks from the past trading history also was at about 0.21 so a lot of support here, like I said, as you guys can see, uh, quite a bit of wicks, uh, which had, uh, which indicates that a lot of bounces from this range right here between point, even between point two to point two two, uh, where we are right now. So um, that is a, uh, those are possible ranges. These are very strong ranges for a possible bounce that I'm looking for. So that is the bearish case scenario. If um, about point two two. Uh, does not hold, uh, we're going to fall to 0 0.21, 0 0.22, and then uh, 0 0.21, 0 0.2, and then finally the measure target about uh, 0 0.19.5, 0 0.19.7 in that range. Okay, so these are my two bullish, I mean, these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios. Um, I hope you guys have found this helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Leave me your feedback, agreements, disagreements. I hope you guys enjoy, um, I hope you guys manage your risk carefully and see you next time.